Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I am so excited, so excited about today's video for two reasons. First of all, you saw in the title that this is going to be a girls night out, get ready with me, and I have to emphasize the out. I am going out with my girlfriends and I know that that doesn't seem like something that should be so momentous and exciting, but you guys, I have not seen my closest girlfriends face to face in almost a year and a half. With pandemic and lockdown and babies and just everything that's been going on, I have had no FaceTime with these girls and they are some of the people that are most special to me and so I'm so excited to be able to get together with them. But also, you guys, this video has a sponsor. I am so excited. I'm actually saying this video is sponsored. I never in a million years thought that anyone would believe in me and my channel enough to want to sponsor a video, but it has happened and I am so incredibly excited. So today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. They are a jewelry brand that is based in New York here in the United States and they are dedicated to bringing consumers affordable, beautiful jewelry that is also responsibly made and sourced. They have a commitment to the environment. They are currently a carbon neutral company, which is very exciting. They've been carbon neutral since 2020. And they also have a commitment to how they source and manufacture their pieces, ensuring that every company that they work with is also verified by third party auditors, I guess, that go in and make sure that they are not only maintaining that environmental commitment, but also the commitment to the fair and ethical treatment of their employees and things like that, which I think is really awesome. I, I wish that it didn't have to be like something important to shout out because everybody should be doing that. But I think it's really awesome to be able to bring affordable jewelry to people that isn't being exploitative. And I feel like there's so much of that in the world and it's just refreshing to find brands out there that don't do that. So they did send me two pieces for me to review and talk about with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. I am wearing both of them today. So the first one is this set of earrings right here. This is the Scarlet Pearl. And I think that this is just so elegant and sophisticated and I think it's just so pretty. So it's got two gold hoops with a freshwater pearl in the center. And I just love it. I think it's so dainty and pretty. It's very comfortable. I don't feel it like poking into the back of my neck, which is nice. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love pearls. I was born in, Ju in June. The pearl is one of my birthstones and I absolutely love it. One of my most cherished belongings is actually a pearl necklace that my grandfather brought back from Japan on business and gave to my grandmother and then got passed on to me. I wore it to my wedding. I have such a love for pearls and this is just so perfect and pretty. You can wear it on its own like I am today or you can pair it with some really nice necklaces and things like that. But oh, I thought that this was going to be my favorite piece. But they also, don't worry, I'm gonna balance it out. They also sent over this right here. So this is called the Duo. And I think this one is actually my favorite. I have been wearing this like non-stop. You've probably seen them in some of my videos and Instagram posts. They are just so easy and classy and just, they elevate anything that I put them with, whether it's a jeans and t-shirts kind of day, whether I'm running around in my yoga pants, I mean, whatever the case may be, these just make you instantly look so much more put together. I love that it's got kind of um, a broken, area it's not broken it's a hinge there we go it's got a hinge in the center of the bigger golden hoop so that the pieces actually fit together it just makes it so comfortable i forget that i'm wearing them they're beautiful and they don't attract the attention of the girls so i don't have to worry about them getting you know manhandled but oh all right anna luisa did send over a discount code for you guys it's not an affiliate link i don't get any sort of commission off of it but it does give you guys a discount and they are currently running their summer sale so that will be down in the description box below so if you are interested in checking them out i absolutely recommend them i think these pieces are just so stunning so enough rambling from me let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me 
Alrighty, so I wore this look a few videos back to absolute rave reviews. In fact, one of you even asked for a tutorial. So baby, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and talk about the palettes that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using this one here from Too Faced. This is the Natural Lust palette. This was released a few years ago. To be honest, I don't remember what palette I used in that look for that video, but it doesn't matter for this part. This is just for the crease. The real star of the show comes from this palette right here. This is my Nabla Cosmetics Poison Garden palette, and the shade that we are going to be using from this palette is this shade right here called Adoration. It looks white in the pan, but it has the most incredible ultraviolet purple flip to it. You're gonna see it, it is so, so much fun. Technically, you could probably achieve a look super similar to this using just this palette here, but on my skin tones, they tend to be a little bit more vibrant than what I'm looking for for my crease here. So that's why we're pulling in this guy right here. So for this, I have already put down my eyeshadow primer. I am still using and loving from the Ulta House brand. This is the Matte Eye Nude Primer. And then I just set it down with a combination of this shade right here, which is Buff It Out, and Silk Robe right here. Silk Robe was actually a little too pigmented, so I just sort of dipped back and forth between the two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting down just a really nice light pink transition. So I think what I'm gonna use for that is this shade right here called Take the Cake. And I'm just gonna be super messy and super sloppy just laying that color down. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building a few different pink layers here so that we get a nice little gradient effect. So as I mentioned in the intro for this, I am going out with my girlfriends tonight and I am so stinking excited. It has been a very, very long time since I have seen them. I have not actually seen them since before lockdown. So I have not seen them in a year and a half, which is wild, absolutely wild, because these are actually some of my closest girlfriends. And I, ugh, I hate that we haven't seen each other. It's just, with everything that was going on last year during the lockdown and then with the birth of my kids, some of these girlfriends of mine have kids, one of them is pregnant. So, I mean, there's just been so, so much going on and it's gonna feel really, really good to finally get to sit down and see these girls in person. I mean, we talk via text and, and stuff like that all the time but it's, as you know, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So, all right, now that I have that down, I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is from Sonia Kashik. It is the small eyeshadow brush. It's just a really small, flat packing brush. And I'm gonna take this shade Come and Get It, which is this deeper, dusty pink right here, and I'm gonna pack that into the crease itself, and then I'll blend it out a little bit from there. But yeah, so, I mean, it's still a little bit nerve wracking because there's still so much going on in the world from, again, the pandemic standpoint and the Delta variant and everything. So that's a little bit nerve wracking, but where we're going to be has a beautiful rooftop area. They actually renovated it specifically because of the pandemic and to be able to cater to people, which is, pretty awesome. Not a lot of places kind of had the ability to pivot like that, but this place did. And I don't know honestly why they hadn't done it before that, because I don't know, there's something just really fun about the idea of rooftop dining. I don't know, perhaps it'll be crazy, but <laughs> I think it seems like a really fun idea. So I'm very, very much looking forward to this this evening and it's going to be Italian food, which I absolutely love. It is going to be just a pasta fest for me. I know that that is not the only type of Italian food. In fact, that is what I try to convince my husband of because he is not a big pasta fan. And so anytime I want Italian, 
He's like, oh, I don't really like Italian. I'm like, yes, you do. You just don't like the kind of Italian that I'm in the mood for. So that will be a lot of fun. And, you know, I'm just hoping for a really just chill and relaxed evening out with some of my best girlfriends and to pretend for just a moment that life is normal. <laughs> I think that's what it is as well, is just to pretend that life is normal, but to get caught up and actually see everybody is going to be really nice. So all I'm doing is I'm going back in to come and get it and I'm just re-emphasizing the crease and then I'm going to blend it out just until I get the gradient that I am looking for, which I think we're pretty close to. These shadows are really nice and blend really nicely. I think as far as Too Faced goes, this is probably one of my very favorite palettes that they've released in recent years. I feel like Too Faced can be really hit and miss. They spend a lot of time and energy on their packaging, but then sometimes the shades and the formula inside aren't always the best. So I really do enjoy this particular palette though. Okay, so now that we have the crease where I want it, we're actually going to take the black down here in the corner. It's called Blindfolded. Again, this is something that you can use really any palette that has a black in it um, and has kind of the softer sort of pinky purple shades for the crease. And I'm just going to pat this very gently and very lightly. You don't necessarily need something that's ultra pigmented because we're just laying down a base for that amazing Nabla shadow. Okay, so it still looks pretty sloppy and that's okay. I'm actually gonna go in with just a clean brush and I'm going to try to soften it up just a little bit. We are gonna go back in with some more pink shadow in the crease to help um, with that transition because right now it's looking pretty harsh now I do have hooded eyes, so on me, uh, it is always gonna look just a little bit more harsh. I'm gonna use Pinned Down, which is a very, very deep pink, almost bordering on purple, but it's gonna help with that transition a little bit. But yeah, I, I mean, when it comes to stuff like black eyeshadow, I am totally a chicken, I am totally a chicken. I think it's Danny has been panning a black eyeshadow and doing such an incredible job of it. Like, I mean, that girl can pan so incredibly well anyway, but like, she is a master class right there. If you want a master class in panning, check her out. I'll have her linked in the description box below. I typically do because I feel like I reference her a lot. <laughs> I fangirl on her so often. I feel like her and Rebecca Morgan are the two, oh, and Paula are the people that I talk about the most. Okay, so we have softened this up a little bit. And now, now comes the fun part because I'm not gonna lie, right now it's looking kind of a hot mess totally normal. This is one of those looks that looks kind of crazy before it looks amazing. I feel like that happens a lot. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with some glitter glue because I really want to emphasize this shadow and I find the glitter glue just really, really helps to do that. So I'm using the NYX, uh, technically it's the glitter primer, um, but I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I am going to put this all over my lid. Well, the movable parts at least. So anywhere that there is black eyeshadow, I am putting down this glitter adhesive. All right, now that does also help to soften the black a little bit. Now before it is dry, we wanna make sure it's still tacky. We're gonna go in with Adoration from my Poison Garden palette. So I'm just gonna use my finger because I really wanna pack it on there. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that transformation. I mean, get out of town. 
All right, I'm gonna go back in a little bit more. I am wiping my finger off on a washcloth that I have in my lap because this is in the pan white. I really wanna make sure I'm going in with a very clean finger so that I don't um, disrupt the shadow itself. But look at that, oh, so pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in and do the exact same thing with the other eye. I just want to bring a little bit of that crease back, especially in the outer third, because we want to make sure that we're giving some depth and dimension to the look. And this is certainly a very dramatic look, which I'm fine with because, I mean, I'm going all out today. Watch, I'm going to get there and my friends are going to be in like yoga pants. <laughs> And I'm just like being me. I mean, that's what it really comes down to. I'm just being me. All right, and then we're gonna go back in with a clean brush. Just soften and blend that in just a little bit. Now the last thing that I'm going to do still using just the same brush, is I'm going to dip back into the black shadow, just the smallest amount, just to kind of deepen up this outer corner. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it on there because I don't wanna go too much. I am gonna be putting on eyeliner, so I don't wanna go too over the top, but again, we want to have a little bit of dimension on the lid itself. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to clean up where I always just over blend the daylights out of it, put on my face makeup, and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. All right. So the rest of my makeup is done. Everything that I am wearing is going to be linked in the description box below. The only thing that you have missed on the eyes was that I added a little bit of mascara. I've been using the half caked, um, the dreamer mascara. It's a tubing mascara and I've been really liking it. Um, and then I added these massive lashes. These are from Kiss. These are the magnetic eyelashes in the style Tempt. So what we're gonna do is just finish up the eyes, working on the lower lash line. I'm very excited. So I'm just going to use a nice, small, fluffy detailing brush, and I'm going to take the shade, I think come and get it is what I want to use. And I'm going to put that all along just very, very close to the lash line. Is that what I want to do? No, I'm actually going to start with the first shade, the take the cake shade, that really light pink. We'll start there and then see how much building we want to do. I'm always nervous with the lower lash line that I'm going to go too hard and too heavy. And I, I, this look cannot support that for sure. I had a really light lunch today because like I said, going out to dinner and I'm super excited. And I have every intention of eating my weight in pasta, but I'm so hungry right now. All right, I'm gonna dip very, very, very lightly into come and get it and really kind of focus that on the outer part of my lower lash line and then just drag it in only slightly. Beautiful. Okay. And then I'm actually going to take my eyeliner. This is the pencil eyeliner from Winky Lux, the fee liner in the shade bow tie. And I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline using just a flat detailer. I'm going to go into pin down and I'm just going to smudge out that eyeliner just right up against the lashes. Definitely don't want this to go out of control. All 
All right, I think that looks really, really nice. And the very, very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the inner corners. And for that, we're gonna use All Tied Up, which is down here at the bottom. Now with all the makeup done, let's go get dressed and see the final look all together. All right, so here we are in my room and I finally decided on something to wear. So what do we think? What do we think? I have not worn a dress in so long, guys. I have not worn a dress, I think since I was pregnant and you know, just couldn't fit into anything else. I'm so, I don't know, I feel just so, summery and flirty what do you think cute let me show you the shoes shoes look i'm wearing a heel how cute are these again something that i haven't worn in ages but that i totally love i used to wear these constantly and i think they go really nicely all right so dress good shoes good can't forget the bag what do we think? Going out good? All right, let's check them off. Makeup, done. Hair, done. Dress, on. Shoes, on. Jewelry, on. Bag in the chair. We are ready to go, and I am, as I said, I am so excited. I know that I'm a broken record, but that's okay. Hopefully y'all will forgive me and love me anyway. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much for that. And I really genuinely appreciate in the fact that you guys believe in me so much. Please check the description box below for that discount code if you're interested in any of these pieces or any of the other jewelry that Anna Luisa offers. They have gold jewelry, silver jewelry. They have freshwater pearls like the ones that I'm wearing today. They also have diamond jewelry. It's conflict-free diamonds. They're lab-grown, so you can feel good about what you're wearing. And yeah. As always, everything that I am wearing will be linked in the description box below. And if you've not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.